special episode. Fantastic speaker cable. That doesn't cost anything. Fabulous. Welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this episode, we're going to take a special look to a special cable. So, if you haven't seen my prior episodes dedicated to the speaker type of cables, actually I did two videos, the speaker cable guide, part one and part two. Start from part one, here is a link where you will understand all the different technical aspects. Then you can proceed and watch, if you want, video number two, here's a link, so you can do your own cables, where I suggested a very, very good cable, which I'm actually currently using in my set, and I'm very happy with it, especially after the burn-in period. Very, very good. But today, I want to give you a very special tip, a suggestion, in order to spend much less and have, oh boy, baby, a very, very, very good cable. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, so what am I talking about? Ah, here they are. SKW OCC cables. Very, very nice. Good looking, I would say, and absolutely fantastic sound. Trust me on this, guys. I was shocked. And I did want it to experiment. I kept them a while in my system and they just kept on getting better. So if you do follow my tip, give them at least a week or two and then you'll see magic will take place. So I'm gonna put something to protect my nice little cover here. You can still look at them. So what are these? Now, there are various lengths and I would say a very good range array of connectors, as we will see. As I said, this is made, the conductors are made of OCC copper, which is something very amazing, especially for the price, which I will tell you just in a while. We're talking about six nines, which means 99 point nine 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 percent pure copper OCC copper Ono continuous cast copper which as you know I hope you know if you're following me you know I'm fixated I love this type of material I think it's the best and the best in fact high-end cables have that kind of metal is Ono continuous cast copper invented by Professor Ono so if you don't know what that is Take a look at this video where I explain a little more in detail what is uh, Ono Continuous Cast Copper, which we will find in that same video of the Speaker Cable Guide. Okay, so today we're exploring this cable, which, as I said, it's made up of two conductors, which are 14 gauge, which is 1.6 millimeter each, each conductor. There are two inside, obviously. and. As I said, you can buy different lengths. The good part is that you can find it on Amazon and on the different Amazon. The origin is Chinese and a lot of people are gonna say, oh, Chinese, well, they do address certain issues, especially in iFi, and they deliver. They do deliver with high quality products when they want, when they're determined to do it and go in that direction at a very good price. Not only cables, but also a lot of hi-fi gear. This is a fact. You can, we can't deny it anymore. So no problem for me, at least with Chinese stuff, though you do have to pay attention because there are some forgeries, some fake stuff around. Uh, so it's always better to know what you're getting. And for example, if it passes through Amazon, it's just easier. Plus, you can listen to them and send them back if you don't like them. So, OK, so I wanted to show you this nice little luxury box in which the cables come. And inside, you will find a series of things. 
you will find nice protective caps for the connectors. Already knowing this, you understand the care that is behind this. Also for the this fat parts here with the splitters where there's also the direction of the cable. I know a lot of people don't believe in that, but if you do, it does says does indicate which uh, connection you should adopt. Plus they have nice little Velcro to keep everything in order. Plus the very cool thing is that you have these 24 karat gold connectors of various type. Oh yeah. As you can see here, we have spades, but if you don't like spades, if you don't want spades, you can just screw them off. Very easy input your own if you want. Obviously you need to find screwable spades or together it comes also with a series, a complete series of banana plugs, which you just have to screw them on. Ta-da! Plus, very interesting, I think, like for example, if you're using vintage gear and you need those very, very thin connectors, look what I did. Just buy a good pair of these Nakamichi connectors. I'll put the link in the video description, obviously, so don't worry. You will find all of these products, including the cable, in the video description. You will go to Amazon, and there, if you buy it through that link, a few cents are gonna come to the channel. Otherwise, no problem. Buy them wherever you want. See? If you get this type of Nakamichi connectors, which have a screw inside. So you just have to unscrew it. See? And at that point, it's hollow, so it fits perfectly in the male screw here on the connector. And there you go. You have your vintage high-quality connector if you want. So I think it's a perfect solution with all these uh, types of options coming already in the box. Not, not these. You have to buy them apart, but they're not that much, like 7 or $8, nothing, nothing too expensive. How is the construction? Well, as I said, we have two conductors, OCC copper. Then we have double shielding. I'm not a big fan of shielding, but in this case, I must admit that the results are, are outstanding, so no problem with that. Plus, we have a PVC isolation and this nice little braid, which is something nice, I think, because it's it's something elegant. You can already put it in your in your setup and, it, and you will you will have also aesthetically a, a nice result. With, with all, usually you find all these plasticky, ugly red or blue or black cables. This is something cool, I think. But they have lots of types of cables, actually. Not only these cables, but these are very good. I did not try, obviously, the other ones, but these is something special. Why? Let's get to the most important part, the price. Now, these are a pair of three meter cables each. So it's six meter cables. Do you know how much they cost? Six meters cables of OCC copper? $170. Oh yes, mama. Wowza. Fantastic. And also the price in Euro, if you're in Europe, it's more or less 170 Euro. Very, very Good guys. If we're we're talking of OCC copper, the cable I presented didn't by myself with RAM audio, which is a very very qu high quality, even better than this, especially also for the dielectrics, the insulation. We're talking about double the price, even more if you consider all the different parts or tools and things you need to to prepare those cables. These are already set, good to go, 170. Wow. If you need shorter cables, it's going to be even better because, in fact, if you're getting uh, two, one, 1 1.5 meters, so half that, the price is not going to be half. It's going to be less, and it's going to be around 140 euro, 140 dollars. So 30, more or less, 30 dollars, 30 euro less. Fantastic, fabulous. If you don't have too much space, go for 1.5 meter, absolutely. The three meter is only if you need it. As you know, the longer the cables, the more the issues, the resistance, etc., etc. If you're looking for a decent, very good 
excellent cable and you don't want to spend a fortune, here is an answer, really. I was amazed, shocked. The quality of the, the, the low end, the mid-range, the high notes. Really, I, it, it's complete. I did not find huge uh, disappointments. I can only say that higher quality cables offer a wider sound stage and probably a little more finesse in the transients. That's a critical part. Since I did try these before preparing those videos, I was about to stop everything and just use these. But I'm glad I didn't because the RAM audio is at another level. But guys, we're very close here. Very close at half the price. Enough said. Okay guys, thank you for watching and ho ho ho! Remember, music is born analog. Merry Christmas! Well guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.